Hello, everyone. Welcome to another wonderful live stream brought to you by China Plus and Visit Beijing. My name is Lucy Liu. It is a Wednesday morning, half past 10 a.m. in Beijing. And I am so excited to show you something I love in Beijing and is the signature that Beijing can offer to its wonderful tourists. It is the hutongs in Beijing. Check it out. This is a historical hutong in Beijing. Hutong means narrow laneways, narrow laneways or very narrow byway in Beijing and they are usually surrounding the Forbidden City. First off, I want to hop over here to show you some tricks of the Beijing Hutong. How can you tell who used to live in the Hutongs in Beijing? Hutongs in Beijing have about 700 years of history and by looking at some of the wonderful hidden clues, you can tell who used to live here. But first of all, let me say hi to all of you before I reveal the clues. I have Jesse here. Great to see you, Jesse. Hi, Eric. Good morning to you. Good morning to everyone. Hello to Jones, William, and hello to Bill. Great to see you. Wonderful to see you again from Hainan. So what I want to show you and tell you is that on the doorway of a hutong, you can tell what people used to live there. If you look at, can get a bit loud from here. If you look at the four knot pointing out, it means a ranking four people used to live there. And if you look at the doorway stones, you can tell that if it's a round stone, usually a people who belong to the army force used to live there because it is a round shape like an army drum. So hint, hint. And just let me know who else is here. Again, I have James. Great to see you, James. And morning, Eric. Also, I can see that Bill is saying hi to everyone. Thank you so much. So that doorway was a historical Hutong house. And if you check out over here, these are some renovated Hutong houses. Some of the Hutong residents have rented out their houses or family homes for businesses so you guys can come here and enjoy a beautiful coffee in the morning or in the afternoon in Hutongs. And you can see in the Hutongs there are quite a lot of signs of communal living. You can see that a lot of people enjoy having a time together in the park or they come together in the hutong and have a chat. A lot of people love to grow their beautiful um, plants in outside of the hutong for all of you guys to enjoy. So I can see Tarova is here and lovely to see you. Which state in the US are you from? Please let me know in the comment section. Once again, this is Lucy live to you from China Plus and visit Beijing. What is this I'm hearing? Chirp, chirp, chirp. Mm, I think someone here has kept a bird, which is also a very traditional thing to do for local Beijingers in a hutong. They love to keep beautiful birds. And here I'm going to let Mr. Deng, the camera guy, to bend down a little bit so he can get all of the beautiful birds for you. So this you can see is a very typical hutong house with beautiful, cute parrots in front of the house. And also they have kept some garlic, like a necklace over there. They kept the garlic dry. So once they want to use it, they can just grab one off the hook. Very convenient. And some of you, please let me know what you think about the birds. Are they nice? Were they cute or did you not like them? Please let me know in the comment section. Today, we can see all of your comments live, so feel free to talk to me, feel free to leave a comment. The laneway or this hutong that we are in is called Yang Mei Zhu Xie Jie or Yang Mei Zhu Byway. And it's got its name by Lady Yang, who used to be a very notable resident in this hutong. The Lady Yang is a very skillful matchmaker. So this whole hutong is named after her, Lady Yang, Yang Mei Zhu Byway. And you can see 
this is not a historical stone lion. However, a lot of the um, cafes or restaurants that's opened, they still follow the tradition of having a stone lion to guard the safety of the household. So maybe some of you want to check out some stone lions and they usually come in pairs because we believe that double happiness double even is better and you can see what I was talking about communal living because in Hutong houses still a lot of the household doesn't have a um, like a water room inside their house so some of them still older generation opt to the way of Clo um, closing cleaning and a lot of tea drinking outside in a public area. All right, I have James here from Ohio. Great to see you from Ohio. Hopefully you're having a nice day. This is Lucy live to you from China Plus and Visit Beijing. We are talking all about old and new traditions in Beijing, especially in a Hutong. And in a minute, I'm going to take you to the symbol of the Yang Mei Zhu byway, which is Cai Zi Fang Post ceiling workshop. Does any of you like Chinese ceramics? Does any of you have a Chinese ceramic uh, sort of item in your house? Please let me know in the comment section because we are going to show you how these are actually made and how can they be renovated into a beautiful new design. James Boren is here. Hi, I already said hi to you, James. And um, Kenny from Australia, great to see you. Australia is coming into summertime. I'm really jealous. Love the birds and their happy songs. Yes, the birds is singing a very happy song. We have Olinda here said good night. Good night and good morning to you from Beijing. We have Irene from New Mexico. Great to see everyone. Keep your comments coming. Someone from Texas, great to see you. Let's have a look at this workshop. The golden characters are saying Cai Zi Fang which means pursuing collection workshop and I was told that the founder of the house used to belong to belongs to a very sort of long-standing Beijing craftsman family and you can see they have used the deconstruction way to collect broken ceramic pieces and made them into tails of their doorway. And if I'm not mistaken, if you have a look at this, this is actually a bottom of a um, ceramic bowl. And you can see this is one side of the ceramic bowl and they have put it in a very nice way. So let's head over inside and let's have a look. Of course, they have a beautiful full fortune in Chinese on the front door. So welcome, let's come inside. So this is Miss Wang. Wang Hello. 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 <laughs> this is Miss Wang. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was just asking Miss Wang whether she speaks English. She said only a little bit. So I will uh, let her to stay here and tend her shop. And if I have any questions, I will come back to ask her. Uh, so, Miss Wang, you Miss Wang was very humorous and let me translate what she just said to you guys in English. So, she was saying that everything you can see inside this display room are older. The youngest people in here are us, the people right here. So, everything here is older than you. However, I can see okay, this way, uh, okay, this way. I can see a lot of things that is really young. So even though those pieces may look old, but the way they have changed it into boxes looks very, very young. Wang 
就是您说这个瓷片是老的，对，但是这个把瓷片变成一个盒子，好像是变成一个新东西了、啊。能不能您打开给我们展示一下？其实是这样的，就相当于用我们中国古代的陶瓷的残片，啊、然后经过当代人的设计呢，让它有新的一些功能，啊、所以现在它就相当于是一个首饰盒啊。Beautiful. So if I have a pair of earrings, well, I can be contained in this. I can store it inside. So they've taken one piece of the old ceramic and they've designed it into a accessory box. That's very lovely. I hear a bird calling. Yes. Is that the one? Yes. Is that the one? Yes. So beautiful, this little bird.、Um, so we can slowly go and have a look. I know that our audiences love the birds chirping songs and. The time that you are, now not calling you. So the bird is a bit camera shy. 看到了镜头有点紧张是吗 ？The bird is a bit camera shy. But let me use this time to reply to your comments. We have Michelle says, "I am not feeling very good because I came to today's live stream late." You are okay because we've just started. Fifteen minutes, and it doesn't matter. And I think the time that I had walking outside, I have a mosquito bite. <laughs> I've just got a big mosquito bite on my forehead. But it says how beautiful the nature is here. A lot of the mosquitoes are growing inside. And now it is early autumn in Beijing, and the mosquitoes in early autumn in Beijing are very, very fierce. So talking about old items, Wang 老师，这边是不是稍微老一点的物件？对，这边是相对比较完整的陶瓷。Oh. 一会儿呢，我们会带您去另外一个空间参观一下。嗯，就是如果我们这个陶瓷是残器，嗯，就是有被修复的可能。其实我们首先想的还是把它修复起来，嗯，让更多的朋友能够参与到古陶瓷的修复当中来。嗯嗯。但如果说它已经变成了一个非常小的碎片，嗯，比如说像您手里拿的盒子一样，对，它不可能成为一个整器了。嗯。那这样的话呢，我们才考虑把它做成当代人可以用的一些文创品。哦、明白了，那麻烦您帮我拿一下这个，然后您和我一起。So Miss Wang was saying that when the bowl or pieces can be fixed, their idea was still to fix it. But if they are only in pieces, very hard to fix, then they will make it into modern accessories. And 我看您的耳环特别好看。Can you see? She has a beautiful earring, a pair of beautiful earring on her. And the moment I come to the house, I've noticed it. The color and the ring are very matching. The color is really matching with. You want to say what? Oh, it's like this. You see, this piece of earring is actually the color of the earring. It's called Chinese earrings. It's called Dan. 色釉就是有一种。仅有一种颜色，但是这种蓝呢，如果各位朋友来北京的话，去天坛玩儿，你会发现在天坛的瓦当就是这种颜色。嗯、那这种陶瓷在古代中国呢，就是相当于皇帝李祀天的时候，那么所以它的名字叫祭蓝。嗯，祭呢是祭祀的祭。嗯，那也就是说，在它是李祀陶瓷，在敬天的时候用的陶瓷，所以是单色蓝。啊、ah, ，So Miss Wang was explaining that these earrings are single-colored blue used by emperors when they worship the sky. So So let's go over. We're going to look at this side. Let's go over here because after looking at Miss Wang's accessory, I am inspired to watch to、um, watch and、um, and try some. So you can see those arrays of beautiful earrings, all made of Chinese ceramics. Please give me a comment. In the comment section, and let me know which one of these did you want me to try. 我让观众选一个给我试试 Which one of these did you want me to try? I'm going to wait for your choices, and I'm going to reply to your comments right here. We have Jesse said,、um, "Eating some garlic will keep the vampire mosquitoes away." Yes, I hope so, and I'm hoping that by wearing one of the beautiful earrings, I can. Uh, scare off some vampire mosquitoes. They are so bad. And these are some more beautiful earrings. You guys are in for a treat. So many to choose from, and we have a lot of、um, rings to choose as well. You, you can see they have some really beautiful patterns, so exquisite as well. We have Antonio says they're from Xia Dynasty. Actually. I recognize this lady here. This is Miss Fran Adamson. This is Australia's Zhu Hua, the Queen. So this is the former Australian ambassador to China. 
and I've met her, so she came to this workshop as well. That's so good to know. So guys, Patrick saying that Beijing Zhenbang, Beijing is so amazing. Did you guys choose a earring for me to wear yet? Let me know in the comment section. And we have Mr. Rice says traditional work and old and new ones are very fascinating. Actually, I have a question. Um, you guys said this earring is from which era? I forgot. Ah, the Gucci one. Ah, the Gucci one. 呃, uh, so mostly from the Qing and the Ming Dynasty. Are these buildings listed for um, historic? Actually, I think they're listed for. <laughs> we have a cricket here. It's very typically Beijing as well. So um, yes, Hu uh, Chong I think is listed. Uh, it's very historical in China. I don't think it's listed as a, a historical heritage site by the UNESCO yet, but I hope close enough. So, oh, I like the green ring, Lucy. Thank you so much. So if we go to the other shop, we have more rings and more um, earrings to try on. I'm sorry that uh, we have to leave from here and we're going to the other shop. So Miss Wang is coming with us. Just wait for her to come together. So Mr. Uh, Miss Wang is saying that this house that you can see it doesn't look very old Beijing, like it's not red uh, or yellow. However, it is actually a bank in the about a hundred years old, a bank that used to serve this street. This street used to have a mall as well, used to be a very busy street. So now we're going to the other shop just across the street. And we have Reagan said hi from Louisiana, USA. Great to see you from the US. And let's open the door. So you can see this is like an old door frame that they have kept. So I don't know whether the camera can pick it up. Can the camera go around? around the ceiling. If you go around the ceiling, you might notice that this actual um, area is sort of a rectangle area and it is a very traditional Beijing courtyard being transformed into a workshop. It's a historical Beijing courtyard with four houses surrounding it or in Mandarin we call it 四合院, four surrounding house courtyard and they've changed it into a workshop. I can see some, oh, this is a necklace. I can see a beautiful necklace. Oh, I can, I can see a handkerchief. No, this is not a handkerchief. This is a, a wallet, a beautiful wallet as well, all embroidery. Very nice. If you are an expat living in Beijing or if you are traveling to Beijing, definitely here are some, sorry, great choices to take back as a souvenir. I am, I want to buy one of these. Uh, cup holder, uh, a cup holder, beautiful cup holders. These are too beautiful for a cup holder. I don't even want to put my cup on it. So those beautiful cup holders, I'll show you a purple one, has a beautiful story behind them as well. So you can, do you remember the old lady who was washing her clothes outside the door that we just show you? These um, ladies, they might be retired, um, living in the Hutong, and the um, embroidery teacher gathered them up to do this, to give them some uh, things to do and a hobby in their spare time. So it's time for me to again get to your comments. Michelle is saying hi to James. Thank you very much. I think it was a plastic cricket. No, Jesse, it was a real cricket, just like the mosquitoes. They were real <laughs> and they beat me. <laughs> and 
Well, no earrings is too large. Thank you. So James was saying that the earrings are too large for me, and they were overpowering. So maybe I will wear the sunglasses instead. 我拿一下。好的，谢谢。So you were saying that the earrings were too much. How about those? Uh, Qing Dynasty, Kangxi, a、uh, blue glaze ceramic sunglasses. <laughs> 看到怎么样？<laughs> 谢谢。<笑>哇哦！就是您会发现，您戴上的时候，可能呃看不见路。对。希望营造的状态是很多朋友能喜欢中国的古陶瓷、满天花的那个状态。啊、ah, ，So the way they going about it is, even though I can't see with these glasses, but my eyes are full of Chinese ceramics. And I have my heart full of Chinese ceramics. I hope that my Chinese ceramic purse is full of cash. <laughs> 谢谢你 I love it. Let me show. Oh, this is from the Ming Dynasty, guys. 我我难以相信我在拿一个明代的东西 I can't believe I'm holding something from the Ming Dynasty. I am so lucky. And they've used the sort of like the deconstruction, a、uh, new age way to. 您您拿吧，我怕拿坏了 To to sort. Of, uh, make it into. 但是您看到这个字了吗？哦，福。嗯。A lot of beautiful pieces being put together. I have a question. And guys, I will get to your comments. I have a question. How long does it take to make one of these? 这个多长时间做一个？呃，我们要做这样的，因为它完全手工切割陶瓷片，然后再对着、oh, 再来拼出来。嗯。那这样的一个包做下来的话，大概是两周的时间。两周的时间。So two weeks for making one of these because they have to um make all of the single pieces by hand. And you know where my next what my next question is going to be. The price, 这个会卖吗？是卖品吗？是出售的。可以出售。多少钱？这个包是三千五。三千五。So this is thirty-five hundred Chinese yuan for each one of them.、Mm. It's still quite affordable considering this is from the Ming Dynasty and this is made by hand.、Um, and You know, it is、oh, very, very creative as well. So hopefully, one day I will make enough money to buy one of these. This would be so cool if we go to a party, and will be so cool if we go to like、uh, a sort of、um, a model show to go with one of these. 谢谢您。在我现在给大家再看一下其他的。Oh, actually, something's happened to my live feed. So hopefully, I can still see your comments.、Uh, we have Irene here. This. Yes to the bag and yes to the sunglasses. Thank you so much. These are quite beautiful, and I love wearing them. But I don't want to overstay my welcome, so let me put this back and make sure they are secure on here. And for you guys who, if you don't think you can afford a whole ceramic bag, you can always bring home a ceramic picture frame that looks like this. It's very interesting for me here today because I've never seen ceramic being made this way. As someone who's born in China, if you talk to me about ceramic, my idea immediately goes to ceramic bowls like the traditional one. But this is the new age one, and you might see if you've been to the、uh, British Museum, you might have seen this, but you won't see this. So. This is only in Beijing. I'm really happy to see this, and also, yeah, 这是什么呀，老师？嗯，您问的很好。这个呢，相当于是我们用古陶瓷的碎片做的冰箱贴。但您会发现，每个冰箱贴的颜色、纹饰都是不一样的。这是冰箱贴，这冰箱贴太棒了。对，它后面是有那个磁铁。哦。然后，呃，您就会发现，中国的这个陶瓷呢，是我们古代中国人发现了矿，所以是完全手画的。所以我们即使有几百个冰箱贴，您也找不到完全一样两个。哦，太棒了。So I have to tell you guys, this is actually a fridge magnet. If any of you understand a little bit of Mandarin, you might pick it up from、um, uh, Miss Wang's introduction. This is a ceramic fridge magnet, and Miss Wang was saying that because the way that ceramics are made in China, all made by hand with craftsmen, so you won't see any one single、uh, ceramic fridge magnet exactly the same because they're all hand painted. So I. Put it back, and I will keep telling you about the history of ceramics in China.、Mm. But let me take a pause because I can see some beautiful hats over here. 
So I'll let you take a look at these beautiful hats and I'm going to reply to your comments because I know that I was being too excited and I have missed out some of your comments. I grew up in Minnesota, mosquitoes are a huge problem, yes I think so, but it won't taint my um, happy spirit today. And um, I have uh, Patrick here, hi Patrick, you call a holder or a coaster, thank you so much for giving me a better way to say a cup holder, thank you. This is not a coaster, what is this? Miss Wang will tell you. So guys, how do I look? Reply yes if you think I look good in this. Reply no if you think I should never try it. It is it is very, very light to be honest because when you look at it, you might think it's all made with metal and maybe very heavy, but it's quite light. And <laughs> so, why is it so light? So this is made of paper, guys. Can you believe it? So if it's made of paper, how can it last this long? If it's made of paper, how can it last this long? So if it's made of paper, how can it last this long? So if it's made of paper, how can it last this long? So if it's made of paper, how can it last this long? So if it's made of paper, 的这种作用，那用它做的这种盔头有一个好处，第一个呢，成本低，嗯，第二个非常好的就是您戴着它在舞台上表演，其实没有对颈椎没有负担。啊，对，so this is very good for the opera singers, uh, spine and leg, necks, and also, uh, the way of making paper, uh, sticking for so long is going to be shown to us in the next workshop. So let's head over this way and let me, um. Also read your comments so I won't miss out. And oh, look at this! This is sort of like a very beautiful um, top made also with the same technique that people used to make the handbag. And I wonder if the handbag took two weeks. This might take a whole month. This is about one or two almost three months. So this is the Qing um Qing Dynasty Wu Cai sort of color glazed uh, ceramic work because you can see it's not just blue and white, it has some red and some green and also some yellow color on it. And I envy whoever who can wear this because he or she must have a very thin waist and I put on some fat during COVID. <laughs> so I won't be able to fit in it. And this area is another sort of a little bit different area of the Cai Si Fang workshop. Let me quickly check your comments. Uh, you look amazing, thank you. And um, Mr. White said, yes, thank you so much. I was worried about how I look with the, Jin, the Peking Opera piece. The skin is so soft, thank you so much. And uh, maybe you should add the magnet to your connection. Definitely, I would definitely do that. Um, <laughs> so yes, definitely I will buy one. 那这个空间是做什么的? 对,您看到了,我们在这个体验空间里第二个区域呢,我们会有不同时间段会有不同艺术家的合作的展览。现在您看到这个展览非常有意思,这是一位来自 俄罗斯的艺术家，然后他呢，原来最早的时候在沈阳留学，学中文，然后现在呢，定居在北京，所以他在北京生活的这个十年里边，通过他的观察和感悟，把这个城市的历史文化用一个国外朋友的眼光记
，然后包括就类似于比如在三里屯的地图或者前门的地图。然后所有这些地方呢都是实景的，就他是走过了无数次之后，把令他印象深刻的这种人和故事把它记录了下来。嗯，然后最有意思的一幅是这一幅，可能很多国外的朋友一看会有点看不懂。嗯嗯，如果您没有看这个标签的话，我们原来有一位德国的朋友看到这幅画，他第一个疑问就是说这些人是不是在 fighting？ <laughs> so guys, what do you think? Do you, uh, leave in the comment section and let us know. Do you think these guys in the um, beautiful hand-drawn picture are fighting, or can you guess what they are doing? So what Miss Wang was just telling us is that this is a second sort of area of the Cai Sifang workshop, and in this area they usually collaborate with different artists, and this time they collaborated with someone by the name of Liu Ba, and she has an account called Liu Ba Draws, and in her account, she draws from her perspective the everyday beautiful moments of the um, streets and hutongs in Beijing. So, if you didn't know much about this artist, from China with love. So Liu Ba is actually a Russian girl, and she has studied in the northern part of China, and she now lived in China for a total of nine years. And I was very lucky to be in this area today because I have actually seen some of her stuff being sold in some markets in Beijing, but I've never actually met her in person. But today. Being surrounded by all of her great drawing is really good as well. I think there are some over there as well, so we can go and have a look. So this is maybe something that if you know a bit about Chinese culture, you might tell that this is a dragon dance done by children wearing beautiful um, color. Red, oh sorry, red, green, and yellow, like the traffic light. Very beautiful colored uh, down jackets, and you can see all of the red lanterns with the Chinese uh, character for flag is hanging down the sky, and you can see a lot of the Beijing, sorry, Beijing landmark buildings, the CCTV tower, the um, Taikuli um, uh, building is right here, and we have a lot of fireworks going on. So. I would bet my bucks to say that this is about the Chinese New Year. The Chinese New Year painting, let me see. Oh, actually, this is about the dragon dance, but it usually happens in Chinese New Year. And, ooh, okay, let me not destroy it. So let me quickly check your comments and see if there's anything I have missed out. James is back, thank you. Sorry for the internet interruption just now because we are inside a beautiful Beijing Hutong house and you can see the rooftop is also still kept with the wooden structure. So beautiful. And sometimes the, um, uh, what do you call it, the signal can get a bit uh, interrupted in here. I think a princess is found. Hi, James. Thank you. Did you say that I look like a princess with the headpiece? Thank you so much. And um, Eric is saying, yes, Lucy, maybe, oh, sorry, I have read that comment already. Growing, uh, wait, 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 let's see. Uh, Michelle, uh, Bruce is saying that really beautiful things. Thank you so much, Bruce, and thank you for coming to this live stream. Once again, for people who just joined us, this is Lucy, and we are live with China Plus and Visit Beijing. We are today showcasing the beautiful byway named Yang Mei Zhu and one of the signature shops named Cai Cifang Workshop. It's all about making the ancient Chinese ceramic pieces taking on a new life. And this is Miss Wang and you can see her beautiful earrings made by the blue um, color of ceramics matching with her beautiful scarf. She's looking very elegant today. And I am still looking for whether I can see a ring or a earring that I can wear later on. And So we are going to go to this area which is a more 
sort of open space and very uh, sort of airy and a lot of light going on. And if you turn around, you can see this was the piece that um, was collected over the last hundred years. And remember, they are made by paper. And how can paper stick together for this long? We will show you in this table. So let's go around. I'm going to head over here. And I've met by this beautiful lady, Ning Hao Lao Shi. Ning Hao Shi, Ming Xing Shi. Jia Xing Jia. Ning Hao. This is Miss Jia. You can say hi. J I J I A is how you can spell her last name. You can say hi, Miss Jia, in your comments. Jia 老师，今天您给我准备的什么？啊，做一下那个。骨瓷修复。Wow, guys, it sounds really cool. We are going to mend or repair some old Chinese ceramic pieces. 那老师您请坐。啊，谢谢谢谢。So I will be sitting over here, and I am not sure at all today if I can be a very good student. 老师，您看我这样，您觉得我能做一个好学生吗？今天。<laughs> So Miss Jia said, "No problem, no problem." So, uh, 开始之前我先看一下观众的评论 So before we get started, I want to see your comments. If you have tried any of this before, or have you ever mended something? I know a lot of you in the comment section are quite good with your hands, and you're quite crafty or handy. So let me know if you've repaired anything, and whether any of the tools you see are very similar to the ones that you use. Um. Cool. So let's get started. 老师，我现在都是是您的学生，你教我应该怎么做？咱们先试一下咱们以前咱们的锯瓷工艺。哦。这是金刚钻。哦。这个是咱们南宋的一个那个古瓷的标本。嗯。So this is a handheld drill made with 是钢做还是金刚 ？Made with metal, and it's been in China for a very long time. 那这个是怎么用的？啊，这个咱，这个您看。嗯。咱们再在一个器物上嘛， oh, 做好一个钉。左，您、嗯、一只手扶着瓷器，这只手，您双双手去合十，中指、食指在这儿。嗯、oh.。然后不要去夹这个杆，<笑>然后这木头杆要是垂直平的，不要去蹭这个杆。嗯。然后咱们先上上劲儿。哦、oh.。然后你看。哦、oh.。大拇指在下拖着，上下滑动。嗯、好啊、哦，上下。对。哎。Oh wow! Then I'll put it on. So guys, so let's try this. You need to use your two fingers holding here, and you have to have the upper strings tight, and use your thumb to hold it together in a sort of a balanced. Um, position and your two fingers can't be touching the middle pole, and you should be going up and down. <laughs> 我只能两次就没了。你能不能给我示范一下比较好的方法 ？And um, this is to drill a hole inside the ceramic. Look at this. Oh. 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 哦，上下。但是这个是不太标准的。嗯、对对对对对。咱们每次原来都得扶住了瓷器。哦 ，so um one hand should be holding the ceramic and the other hand should be holding this. And I'm determined to get it right because it is a very traditional way of doing it, and I will be very proud of myself if I can get it right. 这样上下对吗？对。然后我这上面是绑的不对吗？对，是对的。对，对。但是我怎么只能弄一下？因为您那个可能蹭的这个块有点紧。哦。So the hole inside the 啊、oh, ，the hole inside the wood piece has to also be 啊、uh, sort of hanging loose around the pole, otherwise it it won't go up and down. <laughs> Very quickly. So it looks like it's going to take a lot of practice. Um, 然后这绕一次一共能上下多少次？呃，一般情况下能上无数次。无数次。
，他是用这个惯性，一直到把您这个眼儿拿到合适的一个位置，他、嗯、你可以自己吃。Oh, 谢谢 Okay, so guys, I think、um, I won't use the time of this precious live stream to practice this. I might put it down over here, and this is proof for me that if I don't have the、uh, Jing Guang Zuan, I shouldn't be getting the Si Qi Huo. But I'm just the classic one without Jing Guang Zuan. You see, this is originally the Qianlong era. This is a small tea. Oh, oh, this is the Qianlong era. 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 Mm-hmm. Oh, very good. So this is actually using the Jingguang Jingguang Zuan using the metal handheld drill to fix the ceramics. If I put it next to the camera closely, maybe you can see that this is sort of like patchwork that has been stitched together. But because this is ceramic, of course you won't use needle to stitch it together. You use the ceram、uh, sorry the、uh, specific drill like this to poke a hole first, and then you use a metal piece to or iron piece, 这是铁是吧 ？Iron piece to actually a, a nail to nail it together. So if you look at it from the bottom, it looks like this piece has been mended. But if you look at it from the other side, it looks like it's good as new. So first, we take a short break, and I will get your comments. Eric is back. Thank you so much. I think there's been a problem. I can't see your comments, so let me refresh it and see if your comments is back. Still getting a dark screen, so let's just、uh, hold it for now. And、um, I'm sorry if I can't get to any of your comments. Please let me know if、uh, you can give me a new phone, or I can see your comments later on. Oh, got it. So Michelle said, "Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Understand fully."、Um, and、uh, Glenn is saying hi. Thank you so much, Glenn. So. What should we do next? We next should not learn what, teacher? We now start to do. First, do a practice. This is a Tang Xi pipe. This is a flower pot. You can use it on the top of the DIY pipe. You can draw a pipe or a text. This is a Tang Xi pipe. You can use it on the top of the DIY pipe. So there are two ways to mend a、uh, ceramic piece. In this one, they used an iron nail to nail it together, and in this one, this one was a, a bit broken as well. We can see the different pieces, but they have used gold paint to mend it together. And that may be giving you a hint of how the crown of Peking Opera can stack together with just paper and glue. So this one is in. Gold and the instruction Miss Jia gave me was, uh, 我这是画点东西是吧？对对对。I should DIY, uh, whatever I like to do on this, uh, sort of calabash-shaped magnet, magnet over here, and, uh, then. 您咱们现在用的是这个大漆里边含的朱砂。朱砂。So we are using sort of the red colored paint. Oh. And、uh, we are putting a little bit on the mirror or my painting、um, plate. Uh, 我用什么来？嗯，旁边这个，嗯，旁边那个位置，这个细的是吗 ？And I use this very thin paint brush. 您能给我给我示范一下吗？我现在都不敢动。<笑>嗯，你看我这个就是。嗯，谢谢。咱们就是在嗯上面，您随意去。勾勒这些花边也可以，完了字字写个随意的字母。哦，中文字、中文字、英文字。哦，那我写一个福字吧。<笑> so I'm heading now into my creative space. It's a beautiful fun space. And any suggestions of what type of characters or patterns I should paint on my small ceramic piece? Please let me know. My Original idea was to write the character of Fu, which we've seen a lot in this live stream, which is the、uh, character of good luck in China. And if you have any different suggestions, though, of a pattern or a symbol to write, please feel free to let me know. Let me see if you've given me. Uh, oh, I meet Mr. Grant. Great to see you. I've seen people use gold gliding, gilding、uh, to mend a flare. That's right, gold gilding right here. And、um, uh, he said that it is. 
uh, great to help teach us the same trails. Thank you so much. My favorite ceramic is a Christmas mouse tree by my mom painted. Whoa, amazing. It's not really Christmas yet. And I don't, maybe I can paint a Christmas tree. Why not? So we have a east and west uh, combining or fusion together. <laughs> Let me see if I don't have any more suggestions. I'm going to paint a Christmas tree, guys. All right. Oh, Christmas tree. What does Christmas tree look like? So. Uh, so guys, as was I was telling you that um, Chinese ceramics has more than a hundred and five, uh, sorry, one thousand and five hundred years of history, and it is a type of ceramic that. Hmm, this is not that you have to heat, mm -hmm. you have to heat up in a very high temperature. The temperature has to get to 1000 degrees Celsius or 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. And in China, we have a saying. And I think it, the same thing goes for ceramics. A true and real ceramic comes out from thousands of degrees of hard work and coming out to be so beautiful. And it brings me to another question. If the Chinese porcelain or the Chinese ceramic has already went through so much fire and so much um, making. How could it stay for such a long time? Let me ask Miss Jia. Jia 老师, I want to ask you this word. It's already been in the air for a long time. How can it stay so long? The air is the longest time. It's used so the actual color, like the blue that you can see, is actually a metal coloring. That's why after being heated in fire, it will uh, keep for a very long time. And on this note, <laughs> so guys, this is my um, first drawing on a Qing Dynasty ceramic. It is a Christmas tree, or you have to think it is a Christmas tree. And I am really curious of what the next step is. What do you think of my Christmas tree? Let me know. So we'll leave it over there to dry. Uh, 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 so usually after half an hour, you can now uh, use gold gilt to color it. And I will show you a photo later on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, so next we will go into another process of um, sticking them together, or pasting them together. 是我来帮你们，这个是咱们做一个木叶碟，这个是道光年间的，哇，这是灵芝的图案，嗯，灵芝代表，呃，Chinese herb medicine，嗯，最后连接完以后，这是一个小器物，哦，就可以放一个小碟子，a so when Miss Wang is, uh, Jia is getting ready, let me quickly check your comments. Um, and it's been a bit strange today with my phone, so I can't see your comments in real time. So first of all, she is getting the, um, the Chinese glutinous rice paste ready. And I will have to wear some gloves, which is right here. Mm. Oh, so you, 
This is sort of like a really good way of making glue stick. This, uh, stirred well, after it has a date, right? Yes, it has a date. We will also go to the So when I was little, the glue stick that people use in classrooms are made with the organic ingredients, but you can't eat them. <laughs> 刚才您咱们使的那个红漆是加朱砂的，嗯，咱们现在使的漆就是直接从树提取的树漆。Oh, so this paint is actually uh extracted from trees, and let's see the color. So the um percentage is fifty fifty. And you can see it is brown color, just like um straight out from the tree. And let me see if my phone is back. Hmm, not yet. Um, oh, so Miss Jia has studied this trade for more than five years, and I'm in really good hands. So, um, Miss Jia has mixed for me a very organic type of paint, and if any of you are animal lovers and are a um, follower of the organic life principle, you can also follow this type of way of making paste. And so I'm using this very thin tip of this equipment to first of all get a little bit, only a little bit, I don't want to get too much because I need to actually stick this piece onto this piece to make a small plate. It looks easy, but let me see if I can complete the task. If I, let me cheat first. <laughs> I want to ask a question. If I should have a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a make it even and it sort of feels like I am making cupcake. <laughs> um, so it's like you are adding the icing on top of a cupcake. And let me see what you guys think. Eric is watching, thank you. And uh, huh. please, if I have missed some of your comments, remember to copy and paste them and show me again because just now there was a problem and I couldn't see all of your comments really well. So I have finished on this side, the ceramic side, and let me um, now add some paint on this side. Jiao老师,一般客人来这儿的话会体验一些什么活动呢? Uh, uh, 手势自己去制作。制作手势. So if you are a guest to this workshop, there are you can try all of the things I just tried, and on top that of that, you can also make your own accessories. And guys, I'm sorry that we have to because the internet wasn't really good in this other room with the accessories, so we had to leave early. But I will get a um, photo of me wearing accessories and show you in the group or on the page. So I have almost ooh, I have almost finished two of the paint, and now I'm going to try and fix them together. You can. You so I think the key is that the cut from the ceramic has to match the cut of the small plate really well. This can be done. Yes, it can. Then we will clean it up. Because this wood is already cut. Then you can't use it. 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 Then you can't use it.
Okay, so you have to take all of the extra pen off, and then the plate will be ready. I still have a little bit of extra pen. Okay, right here. So I have made a little small plate with the surprise addition of a Qing Dynasty uh, uh, ceramic piece, and the pattern on it is Chinese herb, Lingzhi Chinese herb. 谢谢老师。这我给您固定一下。哦、oh.。然后这个放在潮湿的地方。嗯，为什么要潮湿的地方？因为咱们的漆的东西，漆漆需要潮湿。哦。才能干得快。Oh, so a trick for you guys is that you need to leave this in an area that is, um, how do you call it, in an area that is um, moist, so it will be able to dry quickly. Surprise, surprise. And today, we are very, very happy to be here. 还有什么工序吗,下面? 您带手的。哦,还带上是吗? I am very happy to show you Oh,这个是一个康熙的,你看这有四条鱼,叫四季有鱼,这是过去的一件器物,它这块是缺失了我们填完以后,现在需要打磨,可以尝试着看一眼,就是拿这个。So, the other, 这是最后一个工具是吗?啊,最后工具您上金。哦,上金, so the other process we can try is, um, you can actually try to um, grind the the piece to make it more moist. And Miss Jia told me to use a um, glove, but I think because she didn't wear her glove, I should be able to go without as well. So uh, you can see Miss Jia, all her fingernails is those are five Fingernails is made with a lot of the ceramics, and that means a five years of hard work. So let me just check. Okay. So. Um, the other one was this one. Yay! 这干了吗,老师?你就收的。好的,那我稍微试一下这个。可以,您最好戴个手套。没事,您也没戴,我稍微试一下。这是因为大漆这个容易有过敏的现象。哦。免疫体质不一样。所以戴手套是最预防的。
uh, this process after the live stream is finished. So, who knew that gold actually came out from red? This is my first time learning this process and I am extremely happy for it. And today, I have two tasks I need to complete for you after the live stream. One is to gold guild this, the other is to um, show you a photo of me wearing a ring or a earring. And the last one is the magic of how people can use paper and stick them all together. Of course, it's using paste or using really good glue. And I'm sure a lot of you have guessed. So today, I want to thank you so much for being with us in this live stream. We have seen so much. We have seen the traditional hutong. We have seen the doorway of a hutong. We have seen a si he yuan courtyard in Beijing. And we've seen Liu Ba's drawing. We've been with Miss Wang and Mrs. Jia for a process of how to make a beautiful Priscillian, uh, sorry, Priscillian or ceramic piece. This looks like a chemistry lab and I'm sure there's so much I need to learn later on. And uh, if you are in Beijing or if you are considering to travel to Beijing, I am sure that this is an amazing place to spend a whole Sunday. And on this note, I am going to um, keep going and make my ceramic piece and I hope you have a very good day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. 继续看一下我们的金刚钻，谢谢。